Alright you lot, how's it going? Welcome back to Football Therapy with me, Ostjan. I hope you lot are doing well. Welcome to today's video, which is on a subject that really I did not want to touch on, but looking online, looking at social media, looking at what the journos are publishing, it's just a big furore. Everyone's talking about it, so I want to express my opinion and give some thoughts and try and calm the situation down. And this video is on why Frank Lampard is not playing new big money signing Christian Pulisic. People are talking about Brexit FC. Frank Lampard only wants to play English people, which is absolutely ridiculous. People are talking about Christian Pulisic, how he's a big waste of money and he's not actually talented and can't play and isn't good enough, which is also ridiculous. And then people are talking about loads of stuff in between about a rift between coach and player, an attitude problem, whatever, whatever, whatever. To be honest, all of this is nonsense and I'm going to be expressing my own lucid and measured opinion on this whole subject. But before we do get into today's content, I want to remind you guys to subscribe to this YouTube channel because I upload every single day, you know, and I want you guys to keep up with the content, so please do subscribe, hit the bell notifications icon, like the video, and a quick reminder to you guys who enjoy football therapy that you are now able to join the football therapy Discord for $1 via the Patreon link in the description. So you can talk to me and the other members of the GOAT gang about football in Chelsea, it's loads of fun. Alright, Christian Pulisic. First off, I want to say, now this is really just to preface what I'm going to get into, no, it doesn't really hold much weight, but I want to say it anyway, Christian Pulisic is not a Frank Lampard signing. I think Frank Lampard likes the fact that he's got Pulisic and respects him as a talented, important member of the squad, but he probably wouldn't have gone out and spent £57 million on this player. Again, that's no slight on the lad, it's just something he probably wouldn't have done. A great example and reference for something like this is when Antonio Conte came to Chelsea, Chelsea had signed, already lined up the signing of striker Michy Batshuayi. At the time, that cost Chelsea about £33 million, and if you look how the market has exploded since then in terms of inflation, Christian Pulisic at £57 odd million pounds is probably about the same value in terms of market reference to how much Michy Batshuayi cost the club. Conte didn't fancy Batshuayi. I don't think he had a problem with his character or his application. He had other problems with his game. Just didn't want him. Just didn't fancy him. Now, I'm not saying this is the same. I'm not saying Christian Pulisic is Michy Batshuayi. I think he will play a big part. He's very young. He's very talented. Um, but it's just a point of reference that Lampard hasn't gone out for this player, bought him, and then benched him, like Jose Mourinho was doing in recent parts of his career. So, that is an important reference. Now, the truth is, Christian Pulisic has not featured much at all for Chelsea. Bleacher Report tweeted out recently how much he's been used throughout the last X amount of games. Unused sub, unused sub, 90 minutes versus Grimsby, unused sub, not in the squad in the Champions League. Now, when he played in pre-season, he was very impressive. He scored two goals on the shoulder, running in behind, superb counter-attacking goals. In the Super Cup, he was also very, very good, so he put in a couple of good performances. I was at the Cup game against Grimsby, and sadly he was very, very poor. It was good to see him get a run out. You could tell he's low on confidence. I want to remind you guys at this point in the video that I am a big fan of Christian Pulisic. I have been ever since he was 16 watching him at Dortmund. I think he's a great, great player and talent, so I want you guys to understand that. But yeah, against Grimsby, he was very poor. Sure, there was two occasions when no one passed him when they could have done, but you could tell he's low on confidence and he has been poor. So an additional point of him not being in the squad against Lille in the Champions League was the final. Well, not final, it was just another reason for people to start talking about it. Before I start talking about reasons of whether he's good enough or not good enough, whether Frank has a problem with him or he doesn't. The game against Lille, Lille are in a counter-attacking team themselves. They want you to have possession and they'll break on you and counter-attack when they get the ball and they're very good in transition. Christian Pulisic for Chelsea has demonstrated great counter-attacking ability himself, playing on the shoulder, running in behind. This is the exact kind of player you do not need in this game against this opposition. In this game, you're gonna have possession yourself and you're gonna rely on your own build up combinations and chemistry in and around the opposition box. This is what Christian Pulisic has been bad at recently with this Chelsea side. In terms of chemistry, Mason Mount, Tammy Abraham, they've been playing together their whole lives. Mason Mount knows exactly what Frank Lampard wants as a manager, and it's just there ready to go. And obviously, Willian had been playing well in a couple of games, scored a couple of games in a row, 
a very good work rate, you know, understands the manager more, etc. So people shouldn't really lose their heads for that game. That could have been a tactical thing. I understand that. But he hasn't played much at all generally. So let's talk about that. There's speculation online that he wasn't in the matchday squad against Lille because he came out recently to NBC and expressed his frustrations, which to me, I don't think you'd get punished for that. Players, certainly managers, want their players to say they want to play, of course. They don't want to just be too passive and quiet. And he said he's frustrated, but he understands. An absolutely normal statement, if you ask me. So I don't think Frank would punish him for that. I think he'd want his player to be in his team, absolutely. So let's touch on this concept how Frank Lampard only wants to play English Academy kids. Frankly, this is a nonsense. Frank Lampard represents and personifies everything that's been good about Chelsea in the last 20 years. He was part of that golden elite squad, which was a beautiful mix of different nationalities. He absolutely sees the value in that. You know, super close with Didier Drogba, you know, Makaleli, P SEM, people all over the pitch. He absolutely values the multicultural elements of a strong team. And this is hugely evident in his team right now. He absolutely loves Kepper as a goalkeeper. He loves Jorginho. He can't stop going on about how Jorginho is a massive player for him in terms of character and ability. He's waxed lyrical at Angolo Kante for the last five years and can't wait to, you know, start playing him. Obviously, he loves the senior wingers, Pedro and Willian. He's been talking up Willian loads recently. You know, and it goes on as Pelicueta is captain, is starting left back Emerson, if not Alonso, Kovacic. He's always talking good about Kovacic. So it's an absolute nonsense to say he's got this like Brexit British only mentality because it's not. All he wants to do is give the academy kids a chance who absolutely deserve a chance, who've developed throughout their whole careers playing together and they're good enough and he, the club, the fan base, and indeed English football in general want to see this happen. So I have to put that to bed right away. It's an absolute nonsense to insinuate anything that he preferences English players. It's nice to see English players come through because we're in the Premier League, an English league, and we are an English team from London. Chelsea against Liverpool, that was their strongest lineup. It was 27% English as an English team. In Spain, they love having loads and loads of Spanish players in the big team, so it's an absolute nonsense. He values all players of different nationalities. He hasn't got a preference to English players. Frank Lampard plays on a meritocracy. If you deserve to play, you will play. Which brings me on to the next talking point. Is Christian Pulisic good enough? Well, people need to understand that Frank Lampard doesn't have an agenda. He looks at people in training, and if you've been performing, he'll play you. Maybe, just maybe, Christian Pulisic is a player that plays for Chelsea and <laughs> Frank Lampard is a manager that manages Chelsea. He's looking at his players in training and says, you're performing, you're in. You're not performing at the moment, you're not in. And it could be, who knows, as simple as that. But that would be far too sensible to assume, right? Although that's probably the truth. He's probably looked at Christian. He probably admires his professional attitude. Like people say as well, Christian Pulisic, oh, he's a lone figure, he's isolated. He's not being integrated into the squad. I've, spoke, I've got some American friends and I've spoken to them and apparently that's what he was like at Dortmund he was quite an introverted guy it's just the way it is and it's not like the guys are being cruel to him on the training ground there's videos of him like dancing around with Tammy and training and stuff so they've got a relationship there there's no isolation there's a feel-good factor at Cobham and no one's cruel to anyone it could just be a training thing while well, he builds back up his confidence Frank's gonna be waiting till he's ready to basically be put into the team he's probably gonna dip him in and out like cup games like he did against Grimsby even though he wasn't very good and he'll start integrating him. Christian Pulisic is 21 years old. He's got a long-term contract. Chelsea have two aging wingers in Willian and Pedro. Christian Pulisic is going to get his chance. So the next point, is he good enough? People saying Chelsea have wasted a load of money on a guy who hasn't actually scored that many goals and he's probably not performing and da 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 waste of money, no wonder Frank's not playing him. Again, I think this is nonsense as well. If you're a bit more of a stats nerd like me, you can look past just the goals scored, etc. He is a very, very intelligent footballer and he's a good weapon on the football pitch. He's incredibly fast, he's a super good ball carrier and he's very good at ball progression and like with the aforementioned trait in this video, he's very good at running in behind. This kind of skill set might not match Frank Lampard's needs at the moment in terms of his current application in the team. I think about it, Chelsea have won three games in a row, two of them have been really big and exciting in terms of the Grimsby game and away at Lille that was a good win. His vision is working and if Christian Pulisic at the moment doesn't fit that mold, 
world, people just need to understand that. But I'm digressing slightly because I want to basically assert that Christian Pulisic is a very talented player. And even if he doesn't make it at Chelsea for one reason or another, he will have a good career. And you know, with every Ch Chelsea fan's blessing, hopefully. But hopefully it works at Chelsea. The aging wingers and Willian and Pedro leave, you know, hudson Adoy comes through, Mount plays a bit more in midfield, Pulisic does sort of get Frank's football in his head, hammered home a little bit more, raises his confidence, bullies his way into the team. Like I said, Frank Lampard runs a meritocracy and he will play Christian Pulisic if he's ready and it will help Chelsea win. People need to understand, it's not a cheerleader club for giving Pulisic minutes. Frank's in a delicate situation at the moment, you know, a lot of the odds are stacked against him and he needs to do what he can to win. And he's winning. People need to celebrate how Frank Lampard's coming in, playing a direct style of football. He's valuing a lot of the sorry international players or different nationalities like Jorginho, Kovacic, Kante, da -da 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 -da, the list goes on, but also he's implementing some of Chelsea's world-class academy. He is not the type of manager just to play someone on a name and then you know, their confidence could get even worse. Look at Nicola Pepe at Arsenal. He's really been underperforming, big money signing. Maybe Frank Lampard's wary of that with Christian Pulisic. He's got him in the training ground. He's going to hammer in his football to him. He'll get his chances and it's up to Christian Pulisic to take it. But there's no agenda from Frank Lampard and Christian Pulisic is a good footballer so people need to stop with the crazy sweeping statements and understand the situation anyway guys that's the end of the video what do you guys think get down in the comments express your thoughts and opinions on the matter do like me you think everything's fine and people are being reactionary god forbid on the internet do you think he's good enough do you think he probably just doesn't suit frank lampard and chelsea and this was another club signing that might have been for marketing with america and he probably would do better elsewhere do you think of it's just normal, this time will come, he'll do more training and it will explode on the scene. I think that will happen and hopefully it does. If you have enjoyed the video guys, please do like the video and remember to subscribe to the channel if you are new. Remember you can join the Football Therapy Discord on the Patreon link below to talk to me and the other members of the GOAT gang about football and you can follow me on social media at Football Yannick, that's at Football Yannick on Twitter and Instagram. I'm out guys, see you later, enjoy the football and all that. You ain't so tough with that bad boy tuck. I'ma get it how I'm living, I'ma walk the walk. Outline my lines, I rap through thought. Body bag the verse, outline the chuck. In my life seen trouble, hustle on the double. Silence on the trigger like my pick got a muzzle. Yo, chick like to guzzle, bad boy stay in trouble. I only love this paper, sorry I don't. I love me, baby.